You're going to put a lot of musicians out of work, you know, if you keep playing all those instruments like that on your record dates. Bert, I haven't even started playing strings yet. <laughs> you will, I'm sure. You know, for a guy who started out as little Stevie Wonder, you've really come a long way. It's now Stevie Wonder, a brilliant young performer and composer, and your music has grown up right along with you. It's so important, though, to keep up with the times, because if you don't, you just become another golden oldie. Yeah, right. Speaking of golden oldies, you know, I remember your first record. You were, what, 12 years 12 old? 12 years old. fingertips. Fingertips, right. That must have been a fantastic feeling, no? Be 12 years old and have a song at the top of the charts. At that time, the charts was taller than me. <laughs> right. You know, another thing, too, about you, Steve, is your approach to sound is such a special one. I mean, I can't think of anybody else in the music business that handles it quite the way you do. Sound, obviously, is one of the most important things in my life. I hear things that most people don't even think of hearing. And you know, what you see ain't always what you get. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always, always meant to uh, thank you and tell you how much I loved the record of Alfie. Do you still you do that? it? Um, no. <laughs> Sorry. No, oh, well. Wish you did. Actually, I'm two steps ahead of you. Really? We're going to do it with pleasure, my brother, right now. Fantastic. Fantastic. 